So I had a friend, uh, I had a conversation with a really good friend the other day. One of my best friends, in fact. Um, he knows I love politics, and of course I, you know, I'm probably talking politics maybe more than he wants to hear about politics. But he asked me the other day when we were watching my beloved Falcons lose to the Packers, which kind of sucked. Why does this any of this even matter, right? Why is any of this, how does any of this stuff actually affect me? I mean, does politics actually affect any of us? And for reference, I love this guy. That he is a, uh, you know, getting close to middle-aged white guy. Hopefully he's watching. He's not going to like that. That's right, buddy. But, you know, for a lot of folks, yeah, politics doesn't matter, right? They think, uh, they they just, hey, this is a bunch of fighting, a bunch of people yelling at each other. I'd rather not be a part of it. I'd rather not be a part of all that, right? And I can certainly get that sentiment. I I can certainly get why uh, it would turn a lot of people off. But I asked him, hey, well, the coronavirus has sucked, right? It didn't have to. I mean, that affects all of us. And the reason why it affects all of us is because we weren't prepared. And so, uh, I put out to my friend when he first said this, I was like, do you know anyone who's gay? You know anyone who's LGBTQ? Because here is exactly how politics affects them. Over the weekend, uh, it was announced that Justices Alito and Thomas have said that they want the Supreme Court to, quote, fix the decision on gay marriage after Amy Amy Comey Barrett is nominated to the Supreme Court. And if you don't believe me, because that sounds crazy, because it does actually sound crazy in 2020, here's the article itself. From Forbes, no less. Again, Justices Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito decried the U.S. Supreme Court's decision allowing same-sex marriage and its cavalier treatment of religion. And a decision Monday declining to hear Kentucky clerk Kim Davis's case. And I don't know if you remember uh, Miss Kim Davis. There's a little picture of her right there. But she uh, refused to issue same-sex marriage licenses uh, in her county. And so one of the things that actually got Amy Comey Barrett at the top of the list uh, for potential Supreme Court nominees is that she has said that she will not be limited by past presidents. She has said that that shouldn't determine future decisions, right? And so how this typically works is the Supreme Court decides something, and that kind of becomes established law going forward. Because, and that makes a ton of sense, right? Uh, If the Supreme Court was just kind of, okay, it's all based on like advancing rulings, advancing like our understanding of the Constitution, right? And so if they did a ruling and said, okay, we ruled this, you know, we did this in a past ruling, uh, let's just throw that out for this new ruling. Well, then you got to look at that past ruling too, right? I mean, if you're establishing, okay, you know, when the Supreme Court decides things, it establishes them. And so if you establish one thing that cancels out another thing, you have to go look back at that other thing. And so for a long time, I believe the court's entire history, it's been, okay, we're, we're making decisions off past precedents to avoid chaos. Well, Amy Comey Barrett does not believe in that. And so that kind of means that everything is on the table. Gay marriage is on the table. Abortion is on the table. If you're one of those millions of Americans who was uh, celebrating a couple months ago when the Supreme Court decided, hey, you can't fire someone for being gay, that's on the table now. That could be thrown out. And this is the reason why the Supreme Court is so important is because we are trapped in a crazy spin of partisanship, right? Uh, There is two senators from every state, okay? And... As I've talked about in the past, uh, that gives conservatives more political power. Um, In the past, uh, I believe it is six out of the seven presidential elections, and the presidents nominate the Supreme Court justices. And so they really have a lot of influence on, you know, this stopgap for our democracy, which is the the Supreme Court has always kind of been. And they've always been there to, to balance everything going on in the country. 
Well, six out of the last seven elections, uh, the Republicans have lost the popular vote, lost and the popular vote to determine who's going to be the next president, but they have lost... Uh, they've lost the election in 2000 and 2016 uh and that should really go to show you that you know pe their people's voices are really not being heard and this is showing up on the supreme court and if K amy come barrett is confirmed that'll turn the court into a 6-3 conservative tilt and also it's important to remember that the court sets their own agenda right uh, Congress votes on the major what the majority wants. Uh, for a long time, there's been a lot of things that Democrats have passed in the House and they want to bring up in the Senate. Uh, they want to argue about it. They want to talk about it and vote on it. And the majority party in the Senate controls what we vote on or don't vote on. And what that really means is Mitch McConnell votes or has the deciding voice on what the Congress is going to do. And that's how it's worked for a very, very long time. And there's been a lot of things that even members of Mitch McConnell's own party want. But hey, he is the final decision on whether or not things are going to actually come to the floor or not. Now, the Supreme Court doesn't exactly have that problem, right? The Supreme Court can pick and choose as they please. And so if there is a challenge to abortion law, if they, let's say, for example, they, you know, struck down parts of Roe versus, Roe versus Wade and someone, you know, challenged it and wanted their day in court, well, the Supreme Court can just say no. Ah, we're not going to hear that. We're not going to do anything about that. And with the bipartisan or with the uh, the crazy partisanship we're having in the country right now, uh, Democrats would have to do something drastic to change the balance in the Senate to where they could actually override the Supreme Court. Forget having, you know, the presidential power or right, if they have a pres if Biden wins, takes for the White House and the Senate's have a uh, if there's a sweeping Democratic win and they pick up the majority control. No one is predicting they're going to get 60 seats to actually be able to pass things and amendments and stuff that would actually be able to override the Supreme Court. And so this is the trump card for conservatives. And it has been for a long time because it gives them lasting lifetime control that Democrats would have to do some radical things to change. And so far, they're not showing a willingness to do that. And so the next time someone says politics isn't important or doesn't affect them, remember, it's not just about you. It's not just about me. It's about all of us. Uh, I think one of the great things in my lifetime that I've seen is that people who are LGBTQ have been able to come out of the closet more or less, right? They've been able to be who they want to be um, without facing you know, the prospect of losing their job or losing their employment. Uh, they've been able to you know, get married, and uh, I'm a very happily married man. I you know, love being married. Uh, they've been able to you know, enjoy all the rights that the rest of us have. They're not looked at as second-class citizens. And you know, potentially, that could change. And there's unfortunately not a whole lot we can all do about it. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for watching Citizen Pete. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, click that little subscribe button, maybe the like button, and hey, maybe, maybe just leave a comment. You know, I want to know what you're thinking. What do you think about all the politics, the news, and all the stuff that's going on in our country?